Throughout the storm, we've had a crew in Bridgeport monitoring the situation there. News 8's Ali Reed joins us live over the phone to update us. Ali, earlier today, you described the scene there as a ghost town. Has anything at all changed? Hey, Aaron. Yeah, it really was a ghost town. I've never, in the year and a half I've been based in Bridgeport, seen the city so quiet. Um, you know, most of the roads there, pretty much the same as they were this morning, pretty impassable. As I mentioned earlier today, City officials have really been focused on clearing out the major roads so that emergency responders can get through. They've been focused on the areas around hospitals, the areas around uh, the firehouses, just to make sure that emergency responders had the best access they could possibly have. And they said that was their main priority, not the side roads. As of right now, the side roads still have not been touched. So in many cases, we know that now Bridgeport got about 30 inches, two and a half feet of snow. Um, so... Imagine that being pushed aside on top of uh, the snow already on the side roads. And you're, you're talking several feet, at least at the Connecticut Post, where our bureau is. Uh, in order to get through the snow, came on 5 6, came halfway up on me. So it's pretty, pretty high there. And the city officials are saying now that the police chief just came out and said that if anybody attempts to drive on those side roads, uh, they are faced with fines and possible towing because the mayor of Bridgeport has put a ban on driving in the city, even though the governor listed his on the highway. The mayor in Bridgeport, Governor, uh, sorry, Mayor Bill Finch has said that he doesn't want anybody to be out on the roads, and the police chief saying that he will fine or uh, tow, in some cases, cars that attempt to turn down those side roads, because what we're seeing is that several cars might have happened late last night or early this morning have tried to maneuver around the roads and have gotten stuck on the roads, and that's really hampered the efforts of city officials to plow those areas. But a lot of people saying they're not seeing enough plows out on the streets, the city trying to do their best, and of course, as I said, they've been telling us they're trying to prioritize these certain areas, but a lot of residents we've been talking to have been saying that they're really not happy that some of the main roads have not been cleared away, or some, in some cases, have just been cleared off one lane for both directions, which is kind of created a bit of a precarious situation because if you're driving down a car is coming towards you, you have to reverse and that's causing some cars to get stuck. Now, something else I want to mention, I'm actually left Bridgeport. I'm driving along 95, which does not resemble the 95 we're used to seeing. Both sides are down to one lane only. Traffic not moving any more than 30 miles per hour at its fastest. And one thing I'd like to mention is that even though the governor lifted the ban on the highways here, many of the on and off ramps have not been plowed. Um, so that is a problem. If you think you're going to get on um, 95 South, for instance, like I did from Bridgeport, I was not able to do that. I had to go up on 95 North and drive past several exits until I could find an off ramp that had been cleared out. So that, uh, and apparently the governor is saying that even though he listed the ban, he really is um, urging residents to stay off the roads, and, and I can see why, because it is not uh, a good driving situation on either the side roads and definitely not on the major highway, Darren. All right, Allie, thank you very much. Be careful out there on the roads.